Hey all, welcome to Share Trek. This is Raj here. Friends, I'm really happy today that we are across 4,000 uh, subscribers. The success of this channel and the rapid growth is basically due to your support and uh, the fact that uh, you are loyal uh, subscribers who are watching our uh, channel on an ongoing basis. Uh, plus, your supportive comments and uh, suggestions help keep this channel more focused on what you are looking for. So with that said, I would like to talk today about a major grant from NIH uh, to Cornell researchers. Uh, that's going to uh, create a very, very positive catalyst for HIV research because um, the, um, the particular research that they are supposed to do uh, might usher in the sterilizing cure. Uh, that's my opinion. I'm going to talk more about this, but before we proceed, I request that you join our Patreon community and help fund this channel. So far, we have only two Patreons, and without your support, keeping up the study and producing these informative HIV videos will be impossible. The link to our Patreon uh, section is in the description below. At the very least, please use the Super Thanks feature to keep funding this channel and help uh, continue the HIV programming. That said, let's get started. Welcome back, friends. The good news is that in May 2023, the National Institutes of Health found a worthy cause to, uh, to sponsor. Uh, they gave a 3.4 million grants from the National Institute of Health to Cornell res uh, researchers over a five-year period. Uh, and it was made towards investigating whether chemical inhibitors of epigenetic uh, regulation uh, can be used. Uh, this includes many FDA-approved drugs uh, that could be repurposed to treat HIV infection that are persistent in tissues and present the biggest challenge for a cure. I'll unpack this further. Uh, you will all remember the basics. We had CD4 T cells that are targeted by HIV. We also have macrophages all over the body and those also get infected by HIV and become a dormant pool to uh, cause reinfections. The current uh, grant is uh, to study the use of existing chemical inhibitors to see if it can disrupt the HIV infection in macrophages. So far we have seen that research in HIV-1 focuses on an immune cell type called CD4 T lymphocytes which coordinate uh, an immune response in, uh, in the blood by stimulating other immune cells including macrophages to fight infection. We have seen that with AGT-103-T and we have also seen that uh, with EBT-101 and a few other therapies. Lymphocytes when infected with HIV-1 are driven to cell death when combined with anti-HIV drugs that suppress new infection by limiting the virus's ability to replicate. These treatments are effective in eliminating HIV from lymphocytes. However, this leaves the challenge of dormant HIV pools. Through, though more research is needed, it's been known for some time that macrophages, that is the immune cells known for engulfing microorganisms and pathogens, also become infected with HIV-1 because they have CD4 receptors. These macrophages are found in all organs including lungs and brain. We cannot afford to lose all the macrophages because they are an integral part of the uh, immune system, adaptive immune system that we have. But as long as HIV can hide in them, we cannot completely cure HIV. David Russell, professor of microbiology and immunology at the College of Veterinary Medicine, is the principal investigator of this grant. And uh, the macrophages are present in both the blood and in tissues, and tissue resident macrophages, such as those found in the lungs and uh, microglial cells in the brain, come from um, uh, the fetal cell, stem cell lineages that populate tissues when embryos are developing. Russell and grant collaborator Henry Mandumba, professor of medicine at uh, Kamuzu University of Health Sciences and director of the Malawi Liverpool uh, Welcome Program, have identified HIV-1 reservoirs in alveolar macrophages populations in the lungs of infected donors. They found, it, uh, found that alveolar macrophages with latent HIV-1 infections did not die off when infected as lymphocytes do and showed differences in their uh, epigenetic regulation when compared to macrophages in the blood. In the grant, Russell and his uh, colleagues plan to use a library of 735 known epigenetic inhibitors, 70 of which are already FDA approved to identify host cell regulatory pathways that, are, uh, that impact HIV-1 persistence. The goal is to identify compounds that selectively drive cell death in HIV-1 infected macrophages. Then existing antiretroviral therapeutics can be used in combination to prevent new infections. 
Uh, previous work uh, in the Russell lab had shown that HIV-1 infection of macrophages induced pro-survival uh, pathways, which they, hope, uh, which they hope to target with these in inhibitors. The researchers will conduct transcriptional profiling and compare alveolar macrophages and blood-derived macrophages to assess the cellular responses to HIV-1 infection in the two lineages. Candidate compounds will be evaluated for their ability to drive cell death and reduce viral reservoirs in tissues, uh, tissue culture with alveolar macrophages isolated from HIV-1 positive human donors in Malawi. The persistence of HIV-1 in the lung is of particular significance as a third of deaths of people living with HIV are due to co-infection from tuberculosis and in Malawi approximately 80% of TB cases are HIV-1 positive. Mandumba, who has collaborated with Russell for the last two decades on both HIV-1 and tuberculosis infections, was named Cornell's Distinguished African Scholar in 2015. So it's a very good uh, duo who have got past working experience with each other and have done good work in the past. And with this uh, uh, particular objective and the grant from NIH, uh, they should succeed. And if they succeed, then one can visualize ART in combination with epigenetic regulators that eliminate the macrophages that carry HIV. This could mean a step towards sterilizing cure. Probably this could be the shortest path to sterilizing cure if one of the 70 FDA-approved epigenetic in inhibitors were to succeed. Of course, there will be time needed to go through FDA approval cycle and then there is the possibility that apart from macrophages, the HIV is hiding somewhere else as well. However, this will be a giant step forward after ART. So friends, I am going to keep a track of this story for further developments. And uh, I'll bring more information about this to you as and when I get uh, more information. Uh, but I think uh, this, this seems to be the um, really short track uh, towards uh, sterilizing cure because ART has already proven itself. And there are 70 FDA approved epigenetic inhibitors which have proved themselves in FDA tests in the past. If a combination of those two uh, can help uh, eradicate uh, HIV, uh, that will be a sterilizing cure because they, uh, apart from uh, uh, lymphocytes, it can also help uh, macrophages which are infected with HIV uh, to terminate themselves. But then uh, comes the question, can there be new macrophages to replace the old ones which have died off? Because these are all in the brain and lungs and other places of importance. Uh, so those, those kind of studies will also have to happen once any of these uh, um, uh, FDA approved uh, epigenetic inhibitors are found to be um, uh, capable of uh, pushing the macro infected macrophage to death. Uh, so uh, that's for another day. But this is a very promising start. So this is the good news that I wanted to bring to you guys. And I hope you like this. And again, friends, please consider joining the Patreon. The link is in the description. It will help me continue with the, this kind of uh, videos, bringing you the latest information. And at the very least, use the super thanks feature. That's all for now. I'll catch up with you in the next video soon. Bye for now.